devs, welcome to the 8th part of a platform game series. So in this part of the series, I'll be showing you how to add in ladders and jump through platforms. So presently, we need a ladder right here to go up because our player cannot jump and we need a jump through platform right here. So first of all, let's, um, let's preview this to show you guys where we stopped in the last part of the series. So preview. Okay, in the last part of the series, we added in some moving platforms right here. Here we go, we added in those moving platforms and we also added a trigger button. So once we're in collision with this button, the uh, moving platforms, which are this platform, starts to move. This moves vertically, while the other right here moves horizontally. There we go, so once we're in collision, it activates it. There we go. So if you want to know how to do that, if you want to learn how to do that, you can check out the previous part of the series. Okay, so now we would need a ladder right here. So we need a ladder right here. So let's close this. And um, first of all, we need to add in an object. So let's come to our object um, editor right here. Add a new object. We'll be adding in a sprite. And let's add an animation. Add. Okay, so here we go. Um, an other, and um, here we go. We should have a ladder, right here. So we have a ladder. We'd be using the wide ladder. This is the mid, and this is the top. So let's pull in the top first. Let's add the top, and let's add an animation. Let's add this. Let's add the um bottom, which is sorry, the mid. Here we go. So we have this and the object's name, ladder. Okay, so behaviors. Now we need to give this a platform behavior. There we go. So platform, the platform characters can run on. And just give this a platform behavior. And also once with this behavior, this by default, it gives it a, a platform behavior, which is um, which are the behaviors of floor as currently. So you need to change the type of behavior from platform to ladder. Okay, so apply that. And there we go. Now let's add this into the scene. So I'll delete this and delete this. Let's add our ladder right here and add a new second ladder. So let's change the animation right here to one. Okay, so we have this. Now you can choose to um, change the Y position of this and position it right here. Or you can edit the points. You can change the origin points um, right here. So ladder and points um right here so you can change this uncheck share same points for all animation uncheck that and now we need to move the origin points from the top to the bottom so there we go and here i think this should do okay a little bit and okay that's great okay so let's close this and apply so as you can see now it aligns to the bottom right there Okay, so now let's copy this, copy and paste. Here we go. So we have this now. So let's reduce the Z other because we don't want player behind the ladder. So select this and um, you can select all the um, ladder objects right here, all the instances of ladder right there. And you can change the Z other in here. So you can reduce the Z other in here. You can also do this in your event. So events where you can add um, an action to set the Z other of your ladder to be less than your player. So we'll be reviewing that later on. Okay, so here we go. We have this now. So by default, if you have the default controls checked on your player remember we unchecked our default controls for our player right here because we wanted to use um wasd to control our player so if you have the default controls checked and you're in collision with the ladder once you press up it starts moving up and down but with this unchecked it won't move okay so now let's go to our events in here 
okay so let's um go to our project manager right here and let's add a new xnode event and let's rename this ladder okay so let's open this and choose a scene to um to edit that event choose a scene in which it will be included so let's select this scene which is a new scene choose that and we have this so like i've been um, said in previous part of the series this does not link the scene it just takes the object from that scene to this scene so we act this um external event acts like um the event of a scene so you have to link that again so let's add um sorry not a link actually i'll delete this add um, a group right here and rename this ladder okay so let's add um a new link let's pull this into our ladder group there we go so it's now in our ladder group and let's link this to the ladder okay so whatever we fill in our ladder x no events would be um imported into this scene one when rendering or when i'm um, previewing the scene okay so let's go to our ladder okay so in here we need to add a new event but before we do that let's go to our new scene so in here once we need to get our player we need to check if our player is in collision with the ladder that's there isn't um, a condition to do that so that's the first condition so we need to check if the player is in collision with the ladder so ladder here we go add a condition so player is in collision with the object's ladder there we go plays in collision with the object's ladder um add an action okay so like i said once we uncheck the default controls um you would have to set an action to um simulate pressing ladder key for player since we're not using the default controls anymore so player and um simulates there we go simulates the ladder key press so simulate ladder key press used to grab a ladder there we go okay so this would grab the ladder once our player is in collision so to test this let's put our new scene and um so we don't want our player moving through all this again that would waste a lot of time so let's pull our player all the way here sorry about that okay so here we go okay so let's preview this okay so now we have our player right here so once our player is in collision as you can see it grabs the ladder there we go which is nice there we go okay but now as you can see our player cannot move on the ladder there we go so we need to set events um to make it move so let's close this and let's go back to our ladder in here add a new event let's make this a sub condition of this um a sub event of this event right here so right now it's empty so let's fill it up okay so add a condition now let's check for a key press there we go a key press and we'll check it for the w key is pressed so once this key is um pressed let's add an action for player to simulate here we go we have the simulate up key press there we go so use when on um a ladder okay so once we press w on um, army um, would simulate the up key press for our player so add a new event add um a condition so now we need to check for the s key so key pressed there we go key pressed s on your keyboard okay um add an action player simulates key press this will simulates the down key press for our player okay so this will move our player up and down let's preview this okay so here we go it's uh, moving up and down once again we still have our player behind our ladder now We'll show you how to fix that okay so close this and now let's add a new fence right here like i said you can fix this in the scene or you can just fix this in your events you can fix this in here by reducing the z order of the ladder or you can choose to fix it in the ladder by setting uh 
by assigning a new value to its set order or you can choose to re um, make sure it's less than the player which we'll be doing right now so once again you can set this to um you can leave the condition empty and in your action add an action so select the object's ladder and the order of ladder so the z order of ladder sign should uh okay should be set to to the value of um this is an expression so player dot um z order there we go to so the z order of our player if we hit okay this will set it to the same the um z order of our ladder to the same z order of our player which um in some cases won't be the best of um solution so would need you you would have to add um subtract sorry subtract a value from it okay so this will set it um z order to the player z order minus one so this would be above um below the play by one layer by one uh, index at all times so once you add this it would be above the player z order so that's how it works okay so let's preview this and here we go as you can see it's above the player okay so now um let's play let's fix in some animations for our player we don't want to play um, climb the ladder with the idle animation we want um, some climb animation in here so let's close this and we need to add in the animation so in our new scene right here we need to go to our player objects and in the properties add an animation let's add the climb animation add okay so let's go back um, right here sorry about that okay so here we go we have this the walk um sorry the up one and two would serve open this and um let's go so point two would do um let's preview this so we have this okay let's loop this and preview okay we have this this um should be good enough okay so let's give this an animation name and i'll name this climb and apply okay so we have that now so let's go back to our um, ladder x node events in here let's add an action let's select the object player and select animation there we go change the animation by name so we'll be using the name and not the animation number so by name we named us climb there we go and okay so this will set it to this let's preview this Okay, so now we have this okay so it's not working that's because there is an event which sets it to the idle animation if you remember clearly in the first part of the series um right here there we go we added in this which sets the animation of player to idle once it's not moving okay so to fix this we need to add a condition to check if our player is not in collision with the ladder so add um, a condition right here so player collision there we go so player is not in collision sorry player is not in collision with ladder you need to invert this okay so player is not in collision with ladder set the animation of player to idle okay let's preview this Here we go as you can see it's moving once we're off there we go so it works perfectly okay so now to pause the animation as you can see once our player is on the ladder and our player is not moving it keeps on playing the animation so now we need to pause the animation once um our player is not moving to do that we can just check we can check um if our key is um pressed Okay, so let's in here let's add a new event this would also be a sub um, event of this event right here so add a condition let's add on um, let's check for a key press so key pressed here we go key pressed there we go okay and add a condition key pressed okay s there we go okay so you need to invert this to make sure you're not pressed so once this key is not pressed and s key is not pressed uh, we need to pause the animation add an action and on player animation 
There we go, pause the animation. So this will pause the current animation of the player. We also need to play the animation once again right here. So add an action, select player and play the animation. So this will pause it once this key are not being pressed and I'll play it once again. And let's preview this. Okay, so here we go. We have this. Our play is not moving. It pulses the animation. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so it works perfectly. Now let's fix something, um, which is this. We don't want pressing space. We don't want this in your game where you pull down um, space key and your player jumps on the ladder, which looks like a, a rocket launcher or something like that. So you can fix this easily by um let's close this and let's go to our news and events. We need to make sure space once um space key is pressed, our player is not in collision with the ladder. So we can copy this and paste this here, and this would work. But to make um to reduce the number of events, we can make this to um events right here a sub uh, event of an event which carries this. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean right now. So to add a new event right here so let's pull this in we don't need this anymore so let's pull this here we go so this is what i mean this would be sub events of this event so we just took out one line of condition um this would serve for both events right here for both sub events right here so let's preview this and there we go it works and once you hold down space, as you can see, we're no longer jumping on our ladder. That's a good um, solution to the problem. Okay, so that's it for the ladder. To create jump through platforms, uh, first of all, you need to add a new object. Let's get object to serve for this. So add a new object, add a sprite. It would be a sprite. So add an animation, add. So this is super easy, um, all you have to do is give it a behavior, you don't need any events for this. Okay, so let's select this and um, here we go, this and this, sorry, an animation first. Okay, add an animation, add, here we go. Okay, so we have this and um, let's name this jump through platforms okay and um behavior so this is all we need to do just give it a platform behavior and give it a type so add a behavior and give it a platform behavior and get set the type to jump through platform so that's it you don't need any event to make a jump through platform that's super easy okay so let's place this here just to test it out um there we go let's position this here There we go, and let's set the animation of this to 1. Once again, let's go to our events right here, which will be our ladder, sorry. Let's go to our news and events, and let's add um, an event for our jump through platform in here. Add an action to offset the Z or those to be less than our players. So select the jump through platforms and order. There we go, the Z or the sign. Uh, make sure it's set to the player. There we go player dot set order like i said if you add it's greater if you subtract it's less than so minus one would do okay so just make sure they don't um collide i'll set this right here to minus two so the ladder is behind the jump through platform and the player is above the um jump through platform so preview this Here we go, it's moving and sorry about that, so it's not right. Okay, so there we go, as you can see we can jump through this platform right here. So that's it, that's how to create a jump through platform and a ladder. That's how to add it to your platform game. As you can see, it's super easy. Um it takes few events. Okay, so there we go, that's it. Um thanks for watching, see you guys in the next part.